All day in the studio, so all day you be mad. Right. So what I do, I bring you through. You try to flow. Hold up. Laugh. That chemistry. Hold up. Say what? Hold up. Who back? back? Who back? Who back? Who back? We back. We back. What's going on, baby? Oh yeah. Oh oh. I'm sorry. Yeah. This is this episode of No One Right is proudly brought to you by www.mmtgclothing.com. We're blessed. To get you dressed. What? Hold up! Hold up! Let y'all see my beautiful face real quick. Ah, hold up! Ah, the man you came in. I'm sorry. I'm in the place to be with the man you came to see. Welcome to the home of the organically fabricated, culturally uncultured, specifically unspecified, unradio podcast. Oh! Did he quit that? No. I'm right. And you are here with your two cousins, the L.A. and the A.C. Girl, what it do, what it do. Hey. I saw you. Oh, wait, 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 wait. What, what was that on your face? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You gonna, you gonna, can you give us a little look on the look, see? Oh, making moves, thanking God in memory of Gregory Jones Jr. Circa 1981 to 2020. Bang. Yes. It is a day, people. I know, I know that y'all have missed us. We miss y'all too. <sighs> Family first. Family first. We have lost an angel on earth that has soared to the heavens. Yeah. And that man, that angel's name is Gregory Renez Jones Jr. First cousin, Kenfo, October 26, 1981. God put him down on the earth and blessed us all. Yeah. He came with the best first, you know, boy, you know. Then he came with the best number two after that with Gregory. So, you know, hey, one A, one B, that's how we roll. But, um, you know, just want to show love to the family, all our family out there that's watching. Uh, we love y'all. You know, we're going to bond together in this time. And we're not going to grieve. We're going to celebrate. celebrate. We have had our time for grieving. The time for grieving is over. The time for celebration is on because that's the way Gregory would have wanted it. Mm -hmm. AC, how you feeling? Why? Because wow. it's already better. Yes. And it's already better you. It's already better me because pain is power and it's purpose. And that's what that man is about. He is, was, always will be the ambassador of the Making Moves Thanking God movement. Mm -hmm. Uh, if it was not for my cousin Greg, I call him G. If it was not for G, I don't think that I would have been so animate about getting this brand out. Mm. And um, as a result of that, uh, I always thanking the Almighty because I believe that it was due to his love that he had for the Almighty that made him the stellar human being that he is. I can go on for hours talking about Gregory Jones Jr. But we only doing 30 minutes today, so y'all ain't gonna get that from me. But we will start the show. And we apathetically thank you for tuning in every Wednesday night at 8 p.m. 7 Central to tune into the favorite podcast ever. God's favorite podcast. Greg's favorite podcast. And you don't ever forget the golden rule. I'm always right. So, AC, we have had a tumultuous two weeks, have we not? We have. It's been really, really, uh... Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. On a couple of levels, it's been exciting. It's been um, grief-filled. We've had an opportunity to grieve. And we've also had an opportunity to reflect, which is always a good thing. You want to um, 
you know, you always want to keep your, your heart humble and keep your mind focused on the things that God has allowed you to be and also the things that he has kept you from. Right. So amen to that. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. And uh, I find it very important in times like these that we have to remember that um, family is important. You only get the family you got. Okay? That's it. Um, you can have as many friends as you want. You have as many relationships as you want with same sex, opposite sex, animal pig, items, uh, cars. Uh, yeah. Some people do. Hey, I'm not here to judge your relationship. No, I'm right. Does not judge. We do kind of side eye. But we don't judge though. So, um, but you only get one family member that particular family member who that family member is and once yeah. they have gone on the heaven that's it yeah. and so i do not feel sorrow for my cousin i am elated that he was able to beat me upstairs because i've been beating him all my life i can't tell you how many sports i don't be basketball football um math competitions uh spelling bees uh just I just been beating Greg and so much stuff. Y'all mind your business, family. Don't worry he about beat you saying. too, though. He, he didn't beat me. I you was... want to talk about that slap from me? Nope. We don't want to talk about none of that. So okay. Uh, Greg, you know, already know. Talk to your cousin now, please. Uh, tell me that I said hi. Uh, so um, we are gonna go ahead and kick things off. Amber, I believe that I have something I wanted to show you that you would be mad about. I'm gonna be mad. I have purchased. Right. Something, or well, actually, I'm sorry. I'm trying to do it for the show. I can't even lie. I ain't purchased. They sent me a specialty set of playing cards. And these playing cards, they go, first of all, my favorite color <laughs> a classic gold, like your boy. So, you know, shout out to the black pack playing cards. Okay. Shout out to y'all. I appreciate y'all hooking your boy up. And if I can show you these playing cards, these is all oh, look black at it. people. I need to take one of them to the Check it out. Check it out. Yeah. Think, are they laser cut? They oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You, you see these? You see these cards? Let, 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 me, let me go ahead and show you a few. Okay. Now, here, okay. here's your king. Okay. Yeah. Ooh. Looking just like your boy. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Okay. So if you, you know, here's a young prince, you know, young joker. Mm, you know what I'm saying? You got him. Uh, then you want to move on to, oh, hey, there's another version of the king. Because apparently you have several different versions of these folks on these cards. Right. So I would say you want to get you some. Here's another joke. Look, going oh. back to our roots. Look out, man. Hey. Look at that. Hey, man, here's the real joker. Huh. Uh. And you may be like, LA, what are you doing to the cards? You're going to mess it up. You can't mess these cards up, people. You ain't no time. None of that. Waterproof, tear proof, black folk proof, it's just proof. It's just right. what? It's honey proof, baby. It's everything. What's it's that? us. Us forever. These are the cards that I will be playing with only from here on out. Ah, okay. And then you know how your relatives be all together and they getting their nasty hands. You know, Aunt yeah. Janice don't wash her hands and, ah. and Uncle Uncle Rico, you know, oh. he do things with his hands. You just don't know what the You can wash you can wash them. And all that filth and gunk and rona comes scaling on off. And you got your fresh back of, of clean no cards right there. I'm saying. I don't like that. I understand that they also have a Martin set. Yeah, Martin. And I will be making sure that I get that Martin set too. But I just like to play with my and fresh print, black right? folk. Yeah, yeah, the fresh print. Look, check out the Ace of Spades. That's a bad <clears> mother. <throat> That is a nice, we're going to get a little close up on that. That's nice right there. So, these cards are available. Y'all need to go ahead and Google them and what have you. Because you can't have mine. No. These is mine. But you can't re-gift those to me for Christmas. They'll still be in the family. Um, <laughs> um Kennedy, do you want to get <laughs> So, uh, let's move on to the next segment. AC, I understand okay. that we have another... Weekly segment of Women in Sports. All right, then you think you think. Okay, so I'm gonna make starring it. A C. 
I had to finish fan fair. Lakers lost. Oh! Cowboys won. Oh my gosh. Like oh. Greg, you already called in famous for your boy. <laughs> LBJ took that L the other night, huh? Man. I heard they got whooped from pillar to post from beginning to end. They were tired. They was tired. Mm, yeah, they was old and they tie. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so they took that L. Them Cowboys. Woo! Oh, did you see that game? So proud of them. So proud of them. I, I, Love it. Now y'all know me. I'm, I'm the number one Cowboy forever fan forever. Y'all know that. Uh, mm-hmm. There's no, none greater. You know. Um, they looked out. They looked out. That was luck. It's all luck. It's you all God. Get all luck. luck. Anytime. That you down by twelve. First of all, they played the Falcons, mm-hmm. the twenty-eight and three Falcons, okay, <laughs> in the Super Bowl, the twenty-eight and three Falcons, okay. So anytime that you were out there mm-hmm. and you down by twenty points, you had four turnovers, mm-hmm. not in the first half, baby, in the first quarter. You had four turnovers. Mm-hmm. It went like this. This was here's what the Cowboys drive. First six drives. It was punt, fumble, fumble, turnover on downs, fumble, fumble, punt. <laughs> Did you why even show up to play? If that's all you're gonna show up. But you know what? That old cheese uh eating Mike McCarthy. <laughs> He took his burly burlesque butt on the locker room and told them what for. And said, I'm calling this game. Kelly Moore was like, Coach, I got some new. Uh-uh, sit down, kid. Let me show you how I told you to do this. Sat him on down, and them Cowboys got the trucking. And then Greg the Leg Zerline came through. And they did the watermelon kick. That's when you set the ball on the side. Okay, the watermelon. You don't use no T. That's the first time. They didn't even know what to happen. When he kicked that ball, the Falcon was like, I ain't never seen nothing like that. I mean, they think they cheating. So, do we touch the ball or what we do? I'm just going to look at that motherfucker. It look crazy. Look at it. It's just rolling. And they just watch the ball. Watching it. And the Cowboys were like, if you don't want it, we'll take it. And that we did. So, the Cowboys turned around and got the onside kick. And then... Move that joker down the field. Nope. To a field goal. Because that's all I needed was three. That's all I needed was three. And did what Washington couldn't do. (laughs) What the Giants couldn't do. What Philadelphia couldn't do. And that's one game. So, the Cowboys is leading the NFC as if it was even a question. They are leading the NFC East. Now, some may be whispering in the background that <laughs> they have the same record as the Washington no-name, no-mascot football team. But I assure you. They won inside the division. I Shade assure the you. If we, can, if we can have a chat here, Kenny, if you can play this back. I assure you. You will not win. Your team will not win next week. The right. week after. Right. It may be several weeks before you see a W again. That may be because you played the same team that you got the first W from. Because they <laughs> is just as lost as y'all. But this division is owned by America's team. And don't you forget it. Uh, all right. And I I because I have to I have to go ahead and own up to it. Okay. I said that. Portland was going to take the Lakers to seven, right? You did. And they didn't even go past six. You did. I also said that the Lakers and the Clippers were meeting in the Western Conference Finals. Ain't no way that could happen because the Clippers are the house. So, <laughs> I have one last decree. Okay, what is it? What is it? Let's hear it. Let's hear it. I might as well go over for three if I got to, but I'm going to make one last decree. Okay. LeBron James will not win the NBA championship this wow. year. Wow. That's my decree. I, 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 hey, I, I got to be consistent, okay? I love the man's philanthropy. I love the family man that he is. Hell, he has 
excellent basketball skills. Yes. But that X factor about LeBron, I just don't like him. I just don't. I don't like the antics he pulls. I don't like the blowing off plays because he want to talk to the official because he got hit in his balding head. I don't like that somebody swiped at his grayish, then blackish, then grayish, then greenish, then weirdish beard that looks like a a, a reverse Brazilian wax for some reason. I, I, I don't like the fact that he... He threw a ball a few years ago at the finals against Golden State. He threw the ball off the backboard and slammed it. And in the same game after they lost, and he checked himself out before the game was even over. And then showed up at the press conference in a sling, but you played all five games. It was the adrenaline. And then he got mad after game one when they lost, and he took his merch and walked away from the press conference Dude. when he wore the infamous suit jacket with suit shorts. Mm -hmm. He looked like CJ on Easter. I, I just can't like the young man. I, 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 I love what he stand for, love what he about, but the LeBron James basketball player, mm -mm, mm -mm. I'm not good with that. Okay. So, uh, I know it's a lot of LeBron haters out there, get at me dog. I'll get the beehive on y'all and we call it even. How about that? No, so, uh, <laughs> oh, Lord, I'm going to they don't want, they don't want no smoke for the no. beehive. So I'm just going to see the beehive anyway. And that's going to handle all the LBJ. Yeah, I'm going to move us along. <laughs> Moment of silence to Gail, to, <coughs> Gail Sawyer's okay. Hall of Fame. Okay. Chicago Bears, he passed away at the age of 77. Mm. But he did a lot of great things. Yes, he did. Uh, Gail Sayers didn't even have a long enough career to no, prove that he would have been one of the greatest. I believe it was the running back, if I'm not mistaken. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He would have been uh, He'd have been up there with your uh, Emmitt Smiths, your Walter Paytons, your uh, uh, Detroit Lions. Barry Sanders, yeah. All of those guys. Uh, O.J. Simpson said he was not like any other running back that he had ever played. Um, Orenthal? Orenthal, James. Um, it might still be a little too soon for you to get to talking about anything. <laughs> you think, you think OJ took his knee uh, out? just saying OJ might want to just stay out of all types of conversations. <laughs> so, um, yeah, yeah. Uh, anytime your own people just be like, uh, who, that, who in that says OJ? I'm like, you can put me on bro. <laughs> Anytime your own people will say something like that, um, yeah, mm -mm. yeah, that's okay. not gonna work. So, um, yeah, R I R I H to my man Gail Sayers. Uh, I think uh, you can go talk to Gregory and you chit chat about. Good. I don't know Gregory. I don't remember Gregory being into football too much. I think he just rooted for the Cowboys, which is out of home love. But I don't know if he. I think he did it for football. you. Yeah, yeah, everybody, do, you know, it's just, you got to do it I for I think them. you're a little contagious when it comes hey, to Hey, you know, know, God's favorite son, I know, you know, it's just what it is, so. Um, what do we think about the biggest news? We, we need to transition yeah. from woman in sports, if we could. That's AC, that. let's transition, give us the news desk with AC today. All right. <laughs> Welcome to news desk, starring. Your top analyst, AC. And now, for more, here's AC. Well, hello there. Hey. <laughs> All right, so on a more serious tip. Okay, what we got? So, today, uh, a judge declared in the grand uh, jury, not grand jury trial, and then in the charges against the three involved in the Breonna Taylor shooting. Mm, okay. No charges. One is being charged with some crazy stuff about, you know, some shots or whatever, but the other two are just going to walk away. So you telling me that all three of these cats that was trigger happy, mm -hmm. three. while this young queen had got through work in her hard day's work mm -hmm. and she wanted to go to the sanctity of her own home, mm -hmm. lay her head on this pillow mm -hmm. like Tony mm -hmm. Tone and get some rest and some shut eye. And then she was pop popped. Pop. And we ain't gonna do nothing about it? Nothing. Nothing at all. So if I'm not mistaken, 
I think that they said they were going to charge one of them with three counts mm-hmm. of, some of reckless mm-hmm. endangerment. Uh-huh. And that's only because they was able to find shots from his gun. From his gun, let off in random other apartments. Correct. Nothing to do but if it wasn't that. for that, you telling me that this brother, along with the other two, would be sharing some Thanksgiving turkey with his family. Could. Interesting. And he's still going to share Thanksgiving turkey. Do you know what endangerment is? Uh, uh, uh. At the most, it's a state jail sentence. And I understand that you can only serve a maximum of five years. Correct. But he's a police officer. He doesn't have any prior convictions. No priors. Yes. Yeah, so so he's he going to get good behavior all and that crap. probation yeah. and all of that. Yeah. Well, well, the black community is struggling with this decision. And, and you know what? If they go turn some shit up today, I don't blame them. Because I understand that there's a state of emergency for, it's emergency for the state of Kentucky. Correct. It should be. America. This is an emergency. I told y'all last time, okay? Let me just tell y'all again. If you don't do better, we can't get better. Mm. And I just don't understand how you can right one wrong and wrong another right. Mm -hmm. It's a wash. You've done nothing. We have elections coming up in short of a month and a half. And this is what we got to deal with. The most pressing issue that we can get our members in office, our, our, our congressmen, our president, our officials, the only thing that we can seem to focus on is banning TikTok? TikTok. That's the biggest issue with China. We got an issue with China about the TikTok app. So much so that we're banning the original TikTok and we're going to have Walmart and some other company purchase a version of it to make it a U.S. brand. Mm-hmm. Yes. Wow. That's what we're spending our energy and our we We're still not about. finding justice. Not at all. For those who need it. Not at all. Mm-hmm. Well, that's the America that we know. Not the America we love. Mm. And I'm here to tell you, America, that you're going to have to do better. And I don't know when better is going to happen. I don't know when there will be justice for all, but if anything, 2020 should have told y'all that this world ain't fair. And if we can't come out on the other side of 2020 to 2021 in the green, we're going to stay exactly where we at. Y'all, I don't know what y'all believe in, but I'm going to tell you this. It's a cleansing going on with the man upstairs. Mm. He is cleansing a lot of things out this year. And if y'all don't think about getting yourselves right, doing the right thing, it's going to be a rough 2021 for you. Mm. It's going to be just as worse than 2020. But I'm here to say that it's still time. Mm. It's still time to change things around. It's still time to motivate and encourage and love one another. Yeah. Uh, Nothing else. You know your boy preaches and practices loving one and loving all. And uh, with the loss that our family has suffered, um, I again implore you all to take every day importantly and live it to its fullest with love, laughter, and keep your faith. Talk to God, man. Have that conversation. He don't care how you talk. You don't have to. You don't have to. The, the folks got to understand. You don't have to talk like the pastor to your God. Hmm. You don't have to say, oh, heavenly father. Oh, king of all kings. The almighty. The alpha and the omega. You ain't got to talk to God like that. That's not how I talk to him. I talk to him straight up. Jeez. Come, come here, man. Let me ask. You see, now, I, you know, my, my tank. On like a quarter, okay, and you know the check don't come for like two. Months. Can you just let me make it from? Oh, that's I, that's that's me playing. <laughs> I'm just playing out what people be saying when they be um, 
when they be talking, uh, that's not me. Y'all know I, I got plenty of gas. I don't even drive, so you know how that go. But uh, yeah, so just talk, just talk to you guys the way you talk to them. You ain't gotta talk in the pastor's voice. But I do want everybody to know because it's my show and I can do what I want. So I'm going to shamelessly plug again my cousin because I live him. And uh, wait, wait, wait. Can yes. We- since we okay. on the table. Oh, I'm sorry. That was, I, we weren't done with news. I'm sorry. I took the news off. Let, I just wanted to say, visit Clyde Warner Park right now. So they have... It's a, still going on. It is still going oh, on. Oh, awesome. I thought it was over. Say their names. I love it. I love it, love it, love it. It's a memorial dedicated to those who the those that have, that have been slain, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, you know, by these free police officers. Yeah, you know, protect and serve ish. Mm-hmm, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. And I'm not saying there are no good police officers. Show that one more time to the camera. I know a lot of them. Mm-hmm. However, I just want to make sure that we. Uh, Do they have times? We don't miss. Or they're it. available. Uh, I believe that you can visit the memorial mm-hmm. um, all day. They do ask that you wear a mask. Their children's park is closed, as well as their lawns. The mm-hmm. lawns are closed, so you can't go. Do a picnic or anything like that, but you can go visit the memorial until I believe October the fourteenth. Right on. So you got about two more weeks to go out there, visit, look at it, take pictures. You can take pictures in there. Um, you can read, you know, their stories. You can see their pictures. Um, you can leave flowers or you know your warm thoughts, your heartfelt. Yep. Um, your sincere greetings, messages, whatever you can mm-hmm. leave them there, um, and I, t- honestly, it, I think it's a great experience. I, I hate, you know, that it it is what it is, but I think for the black community, for the African American community, and just for communities all around, I think that it's a really great memorial. I think that it will teach our children, if not us, um, you know, to just stand up for what's right, do what's right, live a, a right life. And uh, you know, they always just stay faithful, yeah. Yeah, you got to um, do that say as I names. said, yes, say their names, and also just another uh reminder for Gregory Jones Jr. Boom, boom. Um, we will be having a walkthrough viewing Thursday, September 24th from 3 to 8 p.m. This is at Evergreen Memorial Funeral Home. Mm-hmm. Off of University Hills Boulevard, six four four nine University Hills Boulevard. The old Houston School Road for you thuggins out. Yeah, I know who it is, um, and it's um, Evergreen. Yeah, I know where Evergreen is. You know, we poured out a lot of liquor for the homies at Evergreen. Okay, um, on Friday, you know, and it's limited available. I'm sorry, matter of fact, it's just sold out. I, I ain't gonna try to convince y'all that I, I already got that event. The funeral is booked. So, our celebration will be taking place Friday, September 25th at 1. This will be at Cornerstone Church. Mm-hmm. Okay? So, uh, you can view this on Facebook Live. Mm-hmm. Uh, we will uh, go to my page for the invites. That is LA Runs Dallas. Lenard Anderson. Um, and you can check out the proceedings that evening. Um, we'd like to, again, send our sincerest. Uh, Thoughts and prayers with the rest of our family that are taking it a bit tough. Definitely. Um, we will all be in celebration mode come this weekend, folks. And we're doing a shorty today. Uh, we got to get prepared for that. Um, again, mmtgclothing.com. We're blessed to get you dressed. Also, and I'm donning that. Let's put this mic out the way. Check it out. <laughs> for the homie grid. Yo, yo. Okay. In memory of my boy, all right? Check out AC with the mask, matching mask. Mm. All right, we are showing love to Gregory Jones Jr. We're going to take us a quick moment of silence for a second for Greg. Current and past episodes of No I'm Right is available at youtube.com forward slash No I'm Right 100. Cutting Up Season 1 LA is online. Cutting Up Season 2 is in production. As usual, Dallas's favorite son, God's favorite LA, is here to sign out with his favorite cousin AC. I'm not my favorite cousin. 
Uh, and we are going to sign out here at the KMWI Suites. KMWI Media Suites. Top Chef Executive Suites for knowing I'm right. So y'all make sure y'all tune in next week. Fully loaded show. And we are bringing back guests. That's right. Guests is coming back to the show. We got treats. And so next week it's on. So until then. Always remember the golden rule. No. Wait for it. I'm always right. See you next week. We out. That's right. See, I'm working, trying to get millions, but you got me all in my feelings. Like, that's all I do. Bring it, LA on a go. Made it, tracks on a go. Make it move, it, chick, drip. King CEO, huh? Feelings, talking about feelings, man. I never really know, but it was in me. Get up, Jimmy. Now this record about to blow, huh? Me and you, that's overdue. If any streets, it's a pastime. Roll the dice and give me one more chance, and I swear to God.